We are an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Welcome back to another episode. Thanks for joining us. We are still in the boatyard and today Taj's job is sanding our sea chest. Painting the sea chest. Our sea chest is usually located in the engine room. We recently replaced the skin fittings in the hull. So why it's out, we thought a lick of paint would make it neat and tidy before we install it back in. So I just painted the outside yesterday and now I'm painting the inside with Andy Fell. Because the sea chest contains seawater inside, we use the same anti foul paint we use on the bottom of the hull on the inside of the sea chest to avoid growth. So the other day when we put our generator in, we pulled out this little skylight and Lee is just replacing it now because it was all hazed and yucky. How's it going, Captain? Oh, you know, another day, another job. I think it's going alright. I've used the wrong size glass. I think it was uh, six mil glass. I don't know where it is actually. But I had some left over from the window, which is five mil, so it's gonna leave a bit of a gap there. Did have a rubber seal, but I'm making a, uh, a 4200 seal. So we'll just, um, I'll just get this fitting right and then peel all this off and see how it looks. Lovely. There's been some washing done today. Bella did some washing. We had a call with Precision, we've got a mainsail getting made, all oh, things are coming together honey. Oh, we've got about happened? seven weeks till we get put back in the water <coughs> and head towards Costa Rica. There's some waves honey, oh, I've forgotten what it even, a surfboard looks like. Oh I can't wait, we can't wait, we're so excited to get put back in the water. We watched a boat get put back in today and we just see can jealous see it happening I'm sitting exactly how I'd like it but maybe I need some uh, the multi grips wherever they are oh sure we'll find them for you darling that's better -er. better -er. all right just gonna still all that mask and tape and I'm still a mess <laughs> just gonna push that down it did have a it had a rubber o-ring in there but I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, it doesn't need it. a bit it. late now. Oh, well, it, it, it had a... It would have compressed against this ring, but I've used a thinner glass, so I'm just using a 4200 seal. Might just clean this bottom bit up quickly. Well, I'm just going to put a little reference mark there, because my holes are aligned. But in about two seconds, they're going to be covered in sealant. And uh, I'm probably not going to be able to see them. So that's why I've done that. Just while I've got that upside down, I might even just scratch this off, save me going in the engine bay. That's the bottom layer. And anywhere else, and I would epoxy it all first. 
I'm just being lazy because I want to get back in the water and go surfing, but it's one of those areas. She'll be right, mate. Work a little bit just in there for the hell of it. Thanks to our patch run, Gerald, we've got some more 4200s. We actually didn't have any the other day, and we do. We went to pick up packages and surprise, surprise, he got us some 4200s, yep. so it was on our list. It actually worked out really well really because well. Uh, we couldn't get our hands on any. No, it was New Year's Eve and some marine shop we wanted. Marine Exchange? West Marine. West Marine? West Marine in Phoenix was closed. Oh look, just while we're at it guys, and I've used this tube about 10 times already. You get the old gloves that have been used. You just take that off like so. Make sure you a little bit of a squirt going there. You put that over the top like so. Oh, that's a neat trick, Dad. Yeah, like that. A little squirt there so no air in it. And then. Get yourself maybe a little bit of masking tape and you just seal this up and that's good for next time. So at the moment we are using a fair bit of 4200 on the boat daily with valves and through holes and sea chests and all that sort of stuff. Oh, look at that, You're there's a, a bit messy. freaking messy operator going on here guys. <laughs> I'm just going to have to sit this here for a second. I'm not the neatest at this. So like I marked on here previously, because now my holes are full of sealant, I didn't have that mark, I wouldn't know where to line up. So this should be about right there. Nice, plenty of goop in there. Look at it, she, she's halfway through cooking lunch downstairs and she uh, couldn't help herself. Well, I had to come film you anyway, and you were taking so long. Oh, she's making excuses because she just wanted to get in there and peel away. Yeah. But this is why we mask up, guys. Look how easy this is. There's no mess. It's it takes an extra five minutes to mask up, but it saves half an hour trying to clean up. Right there, darling. <laughs> no, I don't. Thank you. I think this is the waste of footage, honey. Really letting people know how long it actually does take to do something. <laughs> how are you going to get that piece in the middle off? This is like. Come on, darling. I can see why you asked me to do it. Oh! <laughs> Jeez, you don't muck around. <laughs> Oh, look at that, it looks pretty. I'll leave the rest to you. Go to the kitchen. Oh, look, I can see down in the engine bay now. What are you doing? Ripley, what's going on? All right, guys, well, that's my afternoon. I'm going to uh, have something to eat and uh, tackle another little task. It's time to measure up a new mainsail. And the tape measure looks like this. So we're going to fix it. Got myself. An untrusty clamp that I don't like. I don't like these perforated ones. So I'm going to cut this up and it's going to be my new tab. Okay, well I had a win and I didn't have a win. I've got to measure up our mainsail and I did have one of these in San Diego but I think I left it in San Diego with a friend. So I found this one, but it was missing an end as you know and I've put that back on. So I've made it traditionally just like a tape measure. And that'd work like that, but look at it hoisted up the sail, I just wasn't thinking. So I really need a loop on that. I'm just going to take this down quickly and um, so we're going to measure up this main and I'm just going to 
I'm just going to cut that off and drill that and leave that on there so it'll pretty much just be like a little clip and we can feed our halyard through and I can pull it up. Oh, toes. I can pull that up. All right, take two. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to drill a hole. <laughs> It's a little blunt there, darling. Oh, all my bits are blunt. <laughs> I've got no sharp bits. I'm gonna try, I'm try gonna and take find one. one. Thought I went through. Oh. oh, got one sharp bit in there. Bonus. Probably running in something like that. Not too thick. <laughs> Like that. Let's get this. Oh, the dogs are barking. Okay, is it gonna fit? Yeah, next size up. Size up. Oh, winner, winner. I could nearly leave that on there for both. Should I? I'll trim that off. That for normal measurements and then that for hanging measurements. Yeah, I think I'll run both, so I can probably use that to just measure off a flat edge. We'll see with that out. Get this hook on. Or should I just trim it off and leave it as a hook on tape? Yeah, I'll just cut it off. Just make it a little bit shorter. I can't, that's the actual measurement. <laughs> <laughs> I get ya. <laughs> no, I'll just trim it. Leave it. No. Nope. Leave it, you're gonna regret it. No, I'm not gonna. No <laughs> regrets <laughs> here. No regrets. Alright, he's gonna chop it off. PPE first. There we go. Can hoist that up the halyard. Because I didn't have a one of these and now I do. It's gonna work. Bang on. Look at that. Bang on. Spot on. You gotta guess something every now and then. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright guys, I've removed that little bit of chocolate that was on my lip a second ago. <laughs> no, I've got a sweet tooth and hey. What can I say? But uh, we're gonna wrap this up. This will probably be it for this video. So until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned. You know what to do, like, subscribe. See you next time, it's getting cold here. Whew.